Hello children, how are you? I hope all of you are fine. Today I am going to teach a new lesson, unit number 4, leg trap. I think all of you are very hurry to listen my story, isn't it children? This is a story about a one of the clever boy, Dira. Leg trap means to hold fast. To hold fast, how Dira is going to hold a thief very fastly by using his intelligence. This is a story written by Manorama Jaffa. Go to the next slide. Children, all of you, look at this is the name of the boy Dira. And I am going to read the passage number one. Please, all of you, look at carefully, children. Dira was a shoe shine boy. He lost his father when he was very young and lived with his mother and sister. He was a hard working boy. After school, he would sit near cinema hall, polish shoes for a living. Look at the boy children, all of you. He is looking very sadly and waiting for his customer, I think. Dhira, what was the name of the boy? Dhira was the name of the boy. He was a shoe shine boy. Shoe shine means polishing the shoes. And in this story, he already lost his father and lived with his mother and sister. He had his own family. In this family, he lived with his mother and sister. He was a very hardworking boy, you know. He earned his money for his living by his own, by doing the shoe shine and shining the shoes. And he would sit after he is completing his schools. He is going to schools like you. And is, uh, after completing his schools, he would sit near the cinema hall and polishing the shoes for the others. And he get the money and he is helping to his mother also. And go to the next lesson, next passage, children. All of you, how we look at the picture, all of you, how he is shining, how he is polishing the shoes. I am going to read the passage number two. One day, it was very hot. Dira sat under a tree, counting his days, earnings and humming a popular tune when he overheard a passerby say, A thief has just robbed and escaped from the jewelry shop. Dira stopped counting. He quickly put his money back in his pocket and asked the passerby, When? Where? Just now? He stole a gold necklace and managed to run away. They say he was a bad. So saying, the passerby went on his way. One day, one day what happened, you know, children? Dhira was uh, polishing the somebody's shoes and it was very hot. It means I think it was the summer days because it was very hot. And Dhira sat under the tree by counting his day's earnings. And uh, uh, what was the money earned by him? He just counting and he is humming a popular tune. And uh, he heard some of the voice passer by. A thief was just robbed. That means a thief just robbed the jewelry shop and he is escaped from the jewelry shop. And Dhira just think and stopped his counting and he quickly put his money back in his packet and suddenly he stand up and he asked the passerby when, when did the thief stole and where, where did it happen like that? He asked like that and he stole it and he told that just, just he stole a gold necklace. He stole a gold necklace from the jewelry shop and he managed to run away. I think he has a bad. Bad means having the small ass on the down of his mouth and the and so saying the passerby. Bad means gadda. So saying passerby, he, he is passing some other way. I think he is went in this way. He, he explained like that, that man. And uh, he, he always thinking, Dira, how is the boy? I think the, the thief was like he is wearing a hat. And I am uh, just, he is having a red shirt. He is imagine like that. 
Okay, go to the next passage, children. Dhira was about to go towards the jewelry shop to find out more details when a customer came to him. Boy, polish my shoes nicely. There's no hurry, he said. Looking at his wristwatch, the customer was wearing a pink shirt and a red tie. He looked like a rich man. And Dhira was about to go to jewelry shop he was very hurried to listen what happened in the jewelry shop his very curiosity about his thief and he was just want to go to the jewelry shop and inquiry about the thief at the time a customer came to dhira and he asked boy polish my shoes nicely please polish my shoes he is not requesting he is commanding polish my shoes nicely there is no hurry no speed please po please polish my shoes with nicely so as looking at his wrist watch he is always looking at his wrist watch and is the customer is wearing a pink shirt and a red tie and looked like a rich man the the person the customer who is came with the dhira he is looking like a very rich person but i think he is not a rich he is dressed like a rich person and this uh, lesson having some of the new words children let me going to introduce the new words i think you are all the uh, enjoyed the lesson dhira was one of the intelligent boy and is very poor and he's lost his father and lived with his mother and sister and he is always sitting in front of the cinema hall after completing of his school he is sitting in front of the cinema hall and earning money for his living and is helping his mother also at the time one day it was very hot and he is uh, heard about the heard about the thief who is stolen a necklace from the jewelry shop and is very curiosity about that thief and is just want to go to the jewelry shop and make inquiry in that one at the time a customer came to him and is asked him to polish his shoes very clearly with the with with lot of time in this in this passage children we are having the some of the new words shoe shine boy one who polish the shoes what is the meaning of shoe shine boy one who polish the shoes dhira dhira was a shoe shine boy humming humming means continuous sound and also melodious and dhira heard a humming popular tune nearby rocked means stealing something a thief robbed the bank in this lesson also a thief robbed the necklace from the jewelry shop i think you are all got the lesson children and thank you one and all for listening my uh, english class and if you are having any doubts please ask your teachers and clear it thank you one